Here we go. Brew time. Get the radio up, call the wife. It's good, uh, huts all sorted, nice and tidy. A little bit of firewood here already. Um, I'll go and get some more tomorrow, I won't do all that. And I'm just cooking a brew at the moment. Uh, got the radio going, talk to the wife on the radio, and it's all good. Just gonna hook up this uh, gas bottle here. I bought a, bought a new cooker there, good size one. Yeah. And uh, hopefully it's a nice frosty morning. We'll get up and go for a hunt tomorrow. See what that brings. I don't think I'll have a fire tonight. Good old Tata Weka. Yeah. Well, the old temperatures dropped considerably, so. I think I will have a fire. <laughs> Just uh, cooking a feed on my new gas cooker. Heating my coffee back up, and yes, I will have a fire. It's just a little bit nippy. Not a very appetizing dinner tonight, pretty simple one. Udong noodles, a bit of rice, some uh, normal noodles and a few sausages in there which you might sort of fry up a bit to add to it cool A bit nippy this morning. Yeah. There's their little power station charging up the batteries. Right, off we go. For a hunt a bit late this morning, but never mind. I wanted a good sleep in. They haven't had a good sleep in for a while. I'm busy at work. Um, I won't take the drone this morning because uh, the uh, Te Urawera National Park Board won't let me get a permit to fly a drone up in here. They don't give anybody permits for drones in the Tauruburi National Park. Uh, Department of Conservation have given me a permit, well concession actually, it's called a concession, to uh, fly <coughs> in their um, country that they administer, which is just downstream, about half an hour, three quarters of an hour downstream, so I'll fly the drone down there, you know. A bit unfortunate, you can't fly it 
we're not allowed to fly it here in the uh, National Park but oh, that's the way it is take my water bottles with me down the stairs leave them down the bottom there done right we're out of here Gonna head up there, up onto that ridge, and then there's a big flat sort of terrace up there. Go and have a look at that for today. And then, if I have no luck today, I'll side all these sunny faces tomorrow. Big old rat of iron on a, I think it's a kayaker too. Well, I didn't have any luck up in that little posse up there. Plenty of sign around but just didn't bump into anything. I did hear a R44 helicopter uh, flying around before. It sort of sounded like it might have been down by the hut so there might be somebody at the hut. Um, so I'm going to have some lunch anyway down there in the sun and then I'll jump up the side here and have a bit of a sidle around. Sidle back up that creek there and then go back to the hut. Yeah, sweet ass. Twenty litre Jerry. No, oh, still got something in it. Yeah. Might be one of the other ones, like what we used to use when we were doing the deer recovery. Leave fuel stashes here and there in the in the bush. Oh yeah, now that's um, Avgas, 100 octane. Sweet, might even take that back to the hut and uh, should be good for starting a fire because um, if Jerry's been here a long time, I don't think the guys are going to come back and use it, it's half empty. 
I wouldn't tip it in a machine if I was flying it. Probably contaminated with water now. Can't leave them in the bush for too long, they get water in them. You tip that in the machine and then it drops out of the sky. Bit of tin fish for lunch. Yum. I'll just uh I'll just take this chili out and I'll leave that here for Mr. Coon Wadi to come and eat. Mr. Possum. He can he can burn his guts out with that. Look at that rata vine. Work it. Well, I just went to the toilet and uh, when I was finished doing what I had to do, accidentally knocked the uh, toilet paper down the hole. <laughs> ah, that's the only one I've got. So never mind, it's going to be onto the leaves now. <laughs> this looks like a, uh, I think it's a tower, which would be good wood, just behind the hut. I didn't uh, remember to bring my earmuffs, but I found a little earplug in the box, so that's better than nothing. So yeah, get stuck into this. some firewood this stuff this tower spits splits easy and burns green it's cool so we're gonna have a big fire tonight Well, finding that wood was a game changer. That means I can just have a 
roaring fire every night. And the wood is only just out behind the hut there. Yeah, now that's awesome. That's just made life a lot easier for me over the next three or four days. Mmm, pork bones, cabbage, and noodles. Raining now. Bugger. I hope that doesn't hang around for too long. Sorry, crap. Sorry, crap. Oh, day two, off for another hunt. Just stopping to check my gear. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I always take a bit of extra gear this time of the year, especially. Um, I've always got heaps of extra clothes in my pack. Just in case you have to spend a night out. I had to spend a night out before injured. And not a good experience if you get cold. having a break. Bit of sign around but uh, fresh sign but still haven't bumped into anything. Carry on a bit more and uh, <coughs> and head back to camp. Bloody cold today. Southerly blowing down the valley. Oh, that's it. I'm going to head back to the camp now. Uh, I don't like pushing it this time of the year when it's cold like this. If you make a mistake and stuff things up, you know, it's easier to end up dead. So I'm just going to cruise back to the camp, have another go tomorrow. Just having a bit of lunch before I head back. The old honey doesn't want to flow, it's just too cold. <laughs> honey from our bees. <laughs> 